One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, I couldn't even keep ten of them alive. Ugh, stick around to find out what happened. Let's go back to organics. Alright guys, so some of you guys were asking what this is. This is my worm bin that I made. It's all insulated and it's got a heater in there. I closed it down um, probably in November and I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like in there. Um, see if I have a bunch of cooked worms or just see how they're doing. So uh, I'm gonna open it up. Oh and check this out. The chipmunks chewed the handle up on my little rake my little hand rake here. Over the winter they got in my shed and just chewed up the handle. I guess they're just hungry for wood. I don't know what the story is on that, but anyways, I'm going to open this up and uh, see what I can find. <laughs> well, I tried to keep the moisture out of it with that tarp, but as you can see, there's water on all this insulation up front here. And there's even snow and stuff mold and things underneath here so obviously that insulation is going to have to be replaced but I'll keep digging through the now moldy insulation and see if I can get down to the actual box <laughs> so there it is guys I just opened it up you can see all the way around the edges that heater sure did shrink down everything right down in the middle. And the worms worked everything around the outside, but almost nothing in the center. Center just got kind of compressed down. I do have a second tote down below with some dirt and stuff in it, so I'm going to dig that out and take a look at that. So those are the worms that I was just able to dig out of the fiberglass and stuff as I was opening up. Um, right here is the bottom. The tote that all the castings are supposed to fall into. Let's dig around in here and see if we can't find any worms. Ooh, dry. Very dry on top. Don't see anything yet. Very, very dry leaves. Let's get down into some of this moisture stuff. Oh. See one little guy. That's like, oh, oh. I got another bit bigger of a guy there. I don't know if you can't see him. There he is. Expected this to just be jam packed. I expected them to have eaten through all the food in the top and to just be slammed with worms down here. But it looks like that is not the case. Worms did not like it, did not want to fall. So, I'm going to put this back under, and I'm going to have a dig around in the top bit. Okay guys, let's have a little look. And you're seeing this as I'm seeing it. I haven't opened this in several months. This is just like a big brick. Maybe I can scoop some of this drier stuff around these edges kind of fill it up it's just an absolute brick just a dry briquette be amazed if I find a single worm alive in here but that's just how it goes maybe I'll be a restart this summer get some more worms and 
really oof that smoke just just the dust coming off of this Ooh. of food I put lots and lots of like watermelon rinds put all kinds of food in here I'm hoping that that would be enough to enough moisture to keep it going and I actually expected to get out here more often but with how poorly I felt the uh, weather and the cold just affected me so badly that I just couldn't get outside. I couldn't couldn't shovel my garden or I couldn't shovel my driveway. I couldn't do very much of anything. Starting to get a little bit more moist as we're getting down in there a bit. Like I said, I just expected this to be like your castings up in here but you can see this is a brick and a half I'm gonna have to add a whole lot of water to this just to keep it from going to come back like this again. Let this worms rework this stuff. Yeah. My god, I did not expect all this. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna dig around in here for some more, see if I can't actually find a worm. Yep. And that's what it turned into. Yeah. Took a lot of smooshing and grinding with my feet and just adding water and smashing it up. Turning into that. I don't think there's any worms alive in it, but I'll try again next year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more organic gardening tips and how-tos.